Jason Somerville is one of the people that I respect most in poker. I don't think you'll meet anyone on the tour who ever says a bad thing about him. Jason Somerville, I think I played with him at the Five Diamond. Jason Somerville is one of my heroes in poker. Is he from Alabama? He's really calm, cool, and collected, and he comes off really a lot more humble, I would say, than a lot of these players. Wrong guy. Wrong Jason. Don't know. Who is he? <laughs> Who is that guy? I'm Jason Somerville, and I'm from uh, Stony Brook, New York. He's one of the best thinkers in poker. He's also taught so many people. A lot of people go to him for advice. I've coached many people before, and I have many students that have done very well in poker and have taken down major titles. I wouldn't be here without my mentors. I think it's uh, the right thing to do to pass it forward. I think poker is a big part of my definition. I wouldn't say that it completely defines me. I'm a huge video gamer. I'm a big UFC fan. And coming out to the poker world has been amazing. I I've been in a relationship now with my boyfriend. His name is Vincent. He's supportive and just always there. And it's awesome. Having someone that doesn't play poker, especially that's like kind of outside of the grind that you can talk to and they'll understand, understands what's, go what's going on, but doesn't really care about hands. You know, so it's a nice combination. Yeah, I feel like the weight's off his shoulders, man. Since he came out, he's even more outgoing, more entertaining, and he's comfortable. Has to help his mental clarity, help him play a better game every day. I'm now able to be who I really am outside of the poker world. People have said what I did was good for other people and what I did was good for my game, but the reason that I came out was because it was what was best for me.